Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm doing something different and um, I wanted to show you the canvas that I'm using today. They are the 11 by 14 <laughs> canvas panels and it comes in a five pack from Blick. And what it is, it is a hand turned on a rigid board and it's warp resistant and it's double primed for use of oils and acrylics. And one nice thing about these is you can frame them. After you're finished, you can actually put them in a beautiful frame if you want. I use these quite a bit back home and um, I really like them and they're, they're great for practicing because they're not that expensive. Instead of you know, using one of your big expensive canvases, you can use this. But today I already, um, I'm doing, well, I don't know if I'm gonna call it a double cup pour or two cups are better than one, um, because what I did was I actually glued a small cup into a bigger cup. I already flooded my canvas, but I'm going to put my colors in the small cup in the middle, and I'm going to surround it with the black that I put on my base and then I'm going to drag them and see what happens. So this is new, a new thing for me. So I'm gonna put, oh, I have um, my Carmine Red by Amsterdam, my Deep Gold by Amsterdam, and I'm using my Azo Orange by Amsterdam. And because the cup is so small, my um, pouring medium that I made is 20 mLs of Floetrol, 10 mLs of paint, and seven mLs of water. There is no silicone in this whatsoever. All right, I'll put that in the uh, description of the video. So you're pouring the colored paints into the center cup, cup. that you glued in there. Correct. And then we're going to Flip it onto the canvas, which is going to be, I'm going to be all full because I flooded it. You don't have to flood it if you don't want to, but I flooded it already. And it'll, it's going to be a mess because I have to pick this up to, to uh, do it. Okay, so now, now you're going to get the black around that cup somehow. Okay. Ooh, oh, you can get it uh, in the middle one too. Well, because oh. you're actually supposed to cover it. Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Here's nothing. Hey, that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> This is going to be something, everybody. We're so you see you, if this works. So, okay, well now we flipped it on there. You flipped the double cup, cup and a cup, or whatever you call it, on there. Two is better than Two one. Two is better or than one. Okay. Two cups. And then you're going to drag it. I'm going to drag it, and we're going to see what happens because there is no, there's no flow, uh, there's no silicone in this. So we got to see if we get cells. We should get cells from the flow trough. And that's just the glue. I don't have white paint in it. That's just my glue that I glued the cup. So. so those colors really uh, burst out on the black. Yeah, they really do. Don't they? Look at our cells. Mm -hmm. This is going to be pretty cool. I really like this. I, li I like it. And I like that the, the uh, 
The colors you picked. It's really different. I'm going to turn it around that way. Because I'm not going to actually uh, tip it much more because I like this composition. Well, maybe we'll bring it up a little and see what happens. I don't know. Uh, be careful. Because we got a lot of paint, but man, we're really stretching, which is cool. Well, as long as they're stretching and not getting muddied. They're not. No, this won't get muddied. Okay. I love uh, these colors on black. Yeah, they. It is they very really striking. pop. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit to get some of the paint off and bring it back. I like how that, uh, I'm assuming this technique helped create those black cells, mm -hmm. the, big, the big black cells. It did, because it was a, surrounded the colors. Yes, and that's something that we haven't gotten uh, in the other techniques. Mm -mm. Let's do this and see what happens. Oh, I love this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think this is really neat. I'm I actually, love these black cells. Yeah, I'm actually liking that the cells that were created are are mostly uh, mostly black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've never yeah. had that like that. And then you got the, this nice area of uh, the red there. You got little cells popping up here, the black. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, there is no silicone in this whatsoever. It's all, it's coming from the paint and the Floetrol. Isn't it? It's really neat. Yeah, it is. I'm really pleased with this. I love this uh, two for one cup pour or whatever we're going to call it. Hey everybody, Kathy here. I'm back because what I want to show you is as this was drying, it was sliding off one end and I decided to tip it and then take my handy dandy skewer and wreck, just wreck it. Then what I did, I tipped it a little bit more and it actually it kind of looks like fire now. It's drying beautifully. The reason it was sliding off was I didn't have it quite level. Yeah, it's very important. It really is because it slid off one, as you can see here, this paint was sliding off. So that's why I decided to bring it over here and redo some of the things, tipping it and wrecking it. Because I wanted to save it because I think the colors are absolutely beautiful on this black. So, we'll see how this dries. Until the next time, bye. And I'll be tagging this onto the video, that uh, the original video. Okay, see ya. So if you like it, everybody, you know, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. And um, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell. And you never know what we're going to come up with next. It's always something funky. But anyways, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Until the next time, bye. We'll take another look at this.